how we're doing guys this is the man scrambled legs i'm out here today with a child sized hat on my head on my big swede i'm up at dove storm res with missus it's tuesday it's probably just gone 12 p.m i think is that right 12 p.m yeah middle of the day it's uh it's not the best conditions but i want to say it's going to be heavy wind quite potentially it's going to be it down until about 6 p.m we've booked on the car park for about four hours on the uh, old trails app it says it should take about three hours i reckon we'll smash that and uh is it, like, the visibility is quite good it's it's clear there's no fog over the top of the mountain so yeah man so uh i'm gonna do a bit more scenery videos and i'll catch up with you when we've got up to the top i think How are we doing guys? We have been walking probably about an hour now and we've come to the end of the three reservoirs on the trail. I think it's Dovestone and then Chew Reservoir. I think that's what they are. And now we've come to this sort of path where there's gonna be a, a gradual climb. And then at the top of the climb, you're just walking along the ridge all the way back round so you get to the car park I think the route's like 13k so I think we've done nearly full now so easy going so far but the reason I pop back up is because I think I found the reason now it might be difficult to make out but you can see them two rocks up there giving you V's and that is the trinacle that's why I think most people come here because it's like a sketchy bit of slate rock, I believe, that's splitting off. But it was like a, a plinth that you can climb in between and stand up on top. Um, obviously, 
I do plan to stand up on top, but if it's really windy, I'm not going to do it. Because obviously my missus is here, and she's four months pregnant, and she will go ballistic. So yeah, I will, I think the climb's going to be pretty intense, a bit of scrambling. And obviously in conditions like this, I need both men's free, so once I get up to the top, I'll come back to you. How we doing, guys? So, it looks chill down here now. This is a mad thing, like, honest to God. We've just, oh, mate, missus have just got up to the first trig point where in Helvetica is, or uh, whatever it's called. We've just had to come down that path there, all the way down that side of the hill, because we were up there and it were, mad honestly god um obviously my missus is four and a half months pregnant we we had to scale a waterfall there was no path at the bottom end of the reservoirs around there um once we got halfway up the right hand side of this waterfall we realized it was it was the water was too crazy so me being stubborn thought i'm not on it quick yeah i'm gonna go back so we walked back down tried to find a way across and then i just decided to take my shoes and my socks off uh i don't think we missed it appreciated that you know what i mean so i think she was a bit angry but we still we persevered on we scrambled all up the left hand side of the um the waterfall and then when we got up to where the crossing you could see where the crossing was but the water was so f***ing crazy we were just not getting across so we carried on walking up the side of the bank we spent another 20 minutes, half an hour trying to find somewhere and then obviously I just had enough so I put my feet in and just walked through the water and then like helped her across um, <laughs> we spent 20 minutes walking up the bloody river so you have to spend it walking back don't you um, and then we got up to the top there was literally no path there it was just mud everywhere crazy crazy mud I got up to the Trinacle and my missus is like honest to god like the wind were blowing so hard I think it's like 26 mile an hour gust or something it was blowing so hard it was just blowing water up in our faces. It was crazy. And I was like, I am not going on that today. No chance. Do you know what I mean? I'm not leaving her there, especially. That's just stupid. So, just minutes after I'd put my phone away, after I took a video of it, 
the wind started blowing and it just blew her into the side, like to the left. And I was just stood there for like a good 15 seconds thinking, Fuck. like genuinely, if I could have got back down that path easily, if, if we hadn't have had to traverse rivers and I just would have called it there. So we spent another 40 minutes walking back around. Um, and then we found that path down the side of the hill there that you can see over in the distance. This thing, we just, we just came down, I thought, I'm not being daft. Up there, it's just crazy, there's no visibility at all, it's just foggy. The wind is just in your face, I feel like it was sleeting at one point. It was absolute madness. Um, I'm a bit disappointed because I wanted to come here and bag it, get it done on my first time, but I probably shouldn't have come when it's storm bloody whatever it is this week. Um, so yeah, um, where we've just come down, when I was checking my phone, we're not even like a quarter of the way around these Expos Mountains, so I think it was the right idea. We set off at 12 o'clock. It's now 10 to 4. You know what I mean? We should have done this walk already. But I think we spent about 20 minutes the first time trying to go up the right side of the waterfall. And we were literally walking on, like, scrambling on rocks, bouldering, whatever you want to call it. Uh, 20 minutes back down and then good half an hour finding a crossing at the river it was just mad so disappointed but at the end of the day when we were walking across the top there i just weren't enjoying it i was like i want to go home now i've had enough and uh and obviously my missus is happy that i've decided not to be and push on just so i can say i've done this walk at the end of the day you don't want to just be a fool and get stuck in the middle of nowhere or even get blown off, you know what I mean, off the side of a mountain, just to say you've done this walk. I'm sure we'll come back another time when it, the weather's a bit nicer, so I'll do, I'll do a bit of editing, see what I've got and then I might do a little voiceover at the end. Well yeah, enjoy. Enjoy your day, and if you're going out, don't go up a mountain in storm bloody, whatever she's called, Maureen. Right, stay safe guys. This is Scrambled Legs.